What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. So in today's video I have some great news for those of you interested in jailbreaking the new iPhone 12. This video is brought to you by AnyTrans and their contest where you can win the brand new iPhone 12. All you have to do is to share the story behind the first iPhone you've got with the hashtag backup with AnyTrans on your social media for a chance to win. Check it out in the link below. So as you're probably aware the iPhone 12 has been released just a couple of weeks ago and this is actually quite nice. A great new iPhone, a lot of great features, and of course it runs iOS 14. But the most important thing is that the iPhone 12 basically has the A14 chip and every time there is a brand new chip on the Apple devices there is a possibility that it's going to be harder to jailbreak and as you can see here there is the A14 Bionic chip which is basically brand new. Now currently iOS 14.1 is the only version signed for those devices. The iPhone 12 Pro and of course the other iPhone 12s come with iOS 14.1. And of course, those devices are not supported by CheckRain since they're running the A14 chip. However, we do have some very good news for the jailbreak community. Developer Sparky, you probably remember them from the Meridian jailbreak, posted this quote, A14 will call it Bionic. And they posted a log in which they acquired the read and write primitives for the kernel. They are able to perform reads and of course they are able to perform writes on the kernel. And they do this on the A14 chip and also get root. This is actually quite great. So basically root has been achieved and of course a kernel exploit has been achieved on the new iPhone 12. This is massive because this has the new chip which has never been jailbroken before and of course is the first time we see it on an iPhone. So basically Sparky already got read and write primitives and root with their kernel exploit which also hints to the fact that they have a kernel exploit that we don't know about which seems to be working well enough in order to get root even on the A4. But Sparky is not the only developer that did this. We also have JN Doc in here who posted quote from A14 with love and posted a similar report. As you can see here, PE exploit succeeded, got primitives, and this is actually in the WebKit web content. They got a kernel base, the device is iPhone 13.3, which if you check in here is the iPhone 12 Pro. On the IPSW it says iPhone 13.3 for the iPhone 12 Pro. So they managed to do this on iPhone 12 Pro and then the version is 14.1 which makes sense because that's the only version that exists for that device. And they also got root in here because they got UID 0 which is basically root. This means that we basically have two different exploits available for the A14 devices which of course can get root but may be usable past that in a jailbreak since they have read and write primitives. That's actually quite massive and that would help tremendously the jailbreak community. Now as you probably guessed there is no word from either Sparky or from from JN Doc about any release and it's very likely that at this point these two exploits are actually zero day. But this is actually very nice and we might see them in the future once they get patched. Now there are a couple of iPhone 12 devices. There's the iPhone 12, 12 mini, 12 Pro Max and the iPhone 12 Pro. So there are four different devices for which we can get a jailbreak that have the A14 chip once any similar exploit gets released. But a more important thing is actually proven in here. The fact that A14 chips do not break the exploitation in any matter more for the jailbreak community than the A13 or A12. Now we don't know exactly what happens with PAC and stuff like that so, so nobody got tweaks running for the moment but the kernel exploit in order to be able to read and write the kernel memory seems to be here and root has been achieved which is the first and most important step. If you don't have a kernel exploit there is no way for you to run tweaks and you do have to get a proper kernel exploit first before you will be able to tackle running tweaks. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people will ask me if these will be supported in CheckRain in the future. The answer is no. The A14 chip is not vulnerable to the Checkmate exploit used in the CheckRain. So we're going to have to wait for an exploit like the one Sparky or JNDoc have. So that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I am GSNow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.